The Tardinator Prologue Be me, be retarded, be a big boy in big boy class. I give teacher lady fruit loops for my ass crack. I like teacher lady cause she has a big fat butt. I want to put my pee pee in her butt so she can poop out a baby for me. I decide to draw her something pretty. I color picture a fire truck. Fire truck needs hair cause it needs to keep its feet warm cause fire make it cold. There's no brown. I make poop. I use brown poopy to make the fire truck got hair. I get up to give it to her. Jesse, a fellow gigatard, is already talking to her. He gives her a picture he drew of his pee pee. That's a cute caterpillar, Jesse. Thank you, Teachy Booty. She called it fucking cute. He then proceeds to grab her from behind. No one touches my tendy queen. No one. Fuck you, duty butthead. <laughs> my reptard screech causes my tard brethren to frenzy. Teacher lady is hit in the head and knocked out by a flying chair. I take the shit left over from my artistic exploits and toss it at Jesse. Bullseye.exe Jesse is blinded by my hidden bioweapon. I then grab Midget Mickey and toss him at Jesse. The rabid tardling kicks him in the shin and laughs maniacally. Eminem lets out a war cry and bites his balls. Jesse falls to the floor and flails in pain. I use my tard strength to pick up the unconscious teacher lady and carry her over my shoulder. I do a victory march out of Tard HQ. Never before have I been more proud to be a potato. The Tardinator, Chapter 1, Act 1, Planet of the Apes. Be me, 13 years in the 8th grade. I remember two loud tards from my middle school. One was a wheelchair-bound palsy kid, and the other was a female potato. The wheelchair one had headgear braces and some kind of wire shit hooked to an oxygen tank. The fucking kid looked like a robot. Its electric wheelchair gave it its own tardborg speed. It would escape a lot. I'll call him Cybertard of Tardinator. Cybertard2077.rar The female one would randomly flip shit when the wheelchair one's wailing echoed too loud. The diaper-bound female one had its own common chant. I'll call it Tardzan because it sounded kind of like Tarzan and had a gorilla-like appearance. It was a common sight to see wranglers chasing Tarzan down the halls. I will never forget the aggression and determination on their faces when they chased Tarzan. It was a ghetto school, so they could only afford to hire two wranglers. But there were only two Tards that were really a problem. The others would just shut up and color shitty pictures. That was about to change after one fateful day. The Tards would have P.E. with us once in a while. I was a lazy fuck who would sit with my friends who were also lazy fucks. But if shit ever did go down, we'd get front row seats. Tardinator was doing its regular wailing while doing donuts in the gym on its wheelchair. Tardzan was doing its own call of the wild. I guess when Tardinator's Whoa's! got louder than Tardzan's she took it as a challenge to get her status as Alpha Tard. She grabbed a dodgeball and launched it with the force of a hydrogen bomb and slammed it square into the chest of Tardinator. Alpha Tard status regained, dot gif. Tardzan let out a war screech as one last final warning as she was subdued by Tard Wranglers. Tardinator could not scream due to having the wind knocked out of him. So his face contorted to that of a Chernobyl Jim Carrey and it let out a loud gasp for air. Tardzan rhino charged the Tardinator using raptard speed and kicked its wheelchair across the gym. A huge ass boom is heard as the cyborg collides with the wall. Tardzan takes the wheelchair and starts beating the Tardinator nearly to death with his own means of locomotion. Play Tardinator Weezing AVI. Tarzan ripped off her shirt, exposing her braless chest to the gym as she let out a mighty gorilla roar. The once quiet and docile Tards all surround her and join in a mighty Tard roar that shook the school. Victory Royale. 
Chapter 2, Act 1. Shitty Art. Be me again. Still in 8th grade. It's been a couple months since Tarzan removed the threat to her title as the Alpha Tard. The Tardinator's liberally retarded parents tried to sue the coach for allowing Tarzan to rampage, but decided not to because the coach was black, gay, and an avid Tard activist. In art class with five Tards, including Tarzan because integration. Hear a static screech. Tardinator comes rolling into class, looking as fucked up as ever. It had wires coming out of its head and wore an oxygen mask that made it look like Bane. Tardinator had to use a small device lodged in its throat to talk. Tardinator never talked, so all we'd hear are electronic Tard moans. Ozerv. Tardinator sits by me, turns its head, stares at me with bloodshot Tard eyes. Let's out electronic moan. Are you Rips some serious ass. I try to hold in my laughter. On the other side of the room, I hear a louder and greasier sounding fart. It's Tarzan. Initiates shitstorm.mp3. Tardinator then let out a long groaning fart that ended in an audible shit sound. Tarzan got up on our table and let out a mighty ape-like roar. Out of nowhere, the Tards erupt in screams as they lunge over to hold down Tardinator in its chair. Tarzan got up and pulled her pants down, unveiling the hairiest and chunkiest ass cheeks ever seen by man. She then unleashes a barrage of explosive diarrhea that covers me, Tardinator, and the Tards holding the wheelchair in a thick helping of warm Tard chili. Oh god, there are fucking double A batteries in Tards and shit! Tardinator stays completely motionless as it lets out a loud electronic Ree! My face when the other Tards lick it up as if their master is feeding them. My face when I get sick for the next two weeks from slimy Tard goulash. Tardzan 2, Tardinator 0. Chapter 3, Act 1, Tardinator Judgment Day. Keep being me. End of 8th grade year. We're holding some kind of middle school graduation with pizza. And buffalo wings. <clears throat> Sorry, different Tard story. They decided to stuff all 200 of us in a gym. This included the Tards. I'm trying to flirt with my crush with hopes of getting her number so we can talk over the summer. Everything went fine until I heard retarded wails echoing through the gym and the air filled with a smell equal to that of rotten eggs and mustard gas. Tarzan was going around with her pack of tards, stealing people's pizza and wings right out of their hands. Due to previous incidents, no one did shit. No one wanted to end up like Tardinator. All hail the Alpha Tard. Tarzan and the Tardinator were kept separate after the last crisis. And since Tardinator was the only one who didn't have any food, I thought he was safe. He was not. Tarzan and her goons still approached the chromosomal robot. Instead of wheeling away, the Tardinator stood its ground. Out of nowhere, three of the tech-savvy Aspies I knew from my computer class got up to block the incoming threat. Oh shit, Dot Wave. Tarzan's loyal Tards then hold her down. She struggles and screams, but her fate is sealed. Oh shit, what, Dot Wave? Each Aspie takes jugs of liquid robo-shit from Tardinator's bag. They then take turns pouring the jugs of merciless vengeance onto Tarzan. She lets out a loud gorilla roar that alerted wranglers and teachers. But it was too late. Right as the wranglers got to Tarzan, the Aspies had finished pouring the jugs onto the former Alpha Tard. Rest, my Tardlings, for this is only the beginning of a larger war. Middle school is over. Counter-terrorists win.